Oh my god, guys, another insane amount of boxes. Oh my god. And of course, it's from Rich. If you guys don't remember and you haven't checked out the massive and largest unbox we've done on the channel, this was a three episode unbox and look at what my man hooked me up with today so i met up with him at the traders market um, we worked out a deal for what is in here then my man said and i'm also throwing in some boxes look at this this is even bigger than that one you got castings in here castings in here i don't know what's in here probably more castings check this out guys loose open first with caution oh my god look at that one look at all those loose castings all of these are all loose i don't know what we're gonna do guys but this is seriously going to be another massive unbox i really hope you guys are ready we're not gonna do it all in one shot so before we actually get to all of this craziness which i cannot wait i am so excited guys you just do not understand the anticipation of what lies within these boxes. We actually did get a package in the mail. This is from Jesse's Garage. He reached out to me, wanted to send me something. I know what it is, but I don't wanna say it because I want you guys to be surprised. I'm gonna be surprised because I don't know exactly what it looks like, but I cannot wait. So Jesse, huge thanks to you, but let's go ahead and open this up so we can start this craziness box cutter let's get this bad boy open all right guys let's go ahead and see what we got i'm excited for this because of what he told me he was sending all right check this out got the mustang hunter definitely like the bubble graffiti style font hello jason here is the diorama i said i would send you i hope it works for you and i hope it made it in one piece and again thank you for your service Oh, and I threw in something extra since you are the Mustang Hunter. <laughs> Laters, Jesse from Jesse's Garage. Awesome, buddy. I appreciate you. And let's go ahead and see what this is, guys. I am stoked. This is like a perfect fitting box right here. All right, what do we got here? A little unlock. Oh, nice. Oh, that is sweet. Look at that, guys. That is wicked. Look at the, the Mustang Hunter graffitied up on the wall. Got some street posts, some parking blocks. Oh, that is awesome. Not only that, the way this thing just unveiled itself. Let's go ahead and do that again. I thought that was super cool. One more time. Oh, it opened up so much cooler the first time, but look at that. Oh, that's going to be some good photo shots right there. Dude, Jesse, this is awesome. This is my first and only diorama that I have. So this is going to be a really good street shot of some castings that I have. And check this out. He said he threw in a little something extra. You know, guys, the more I get loose castings, the more I'm just open to just opening up everything. I think it's just opened up a different world of looking at collecting and you guys are right taking them out of the package is where it's at so let's go ahead and see what this is oh yeah look at that 63 concept there we go look at that beautiful red metallic with the white stripe man these 63 concepts are nice oh look at that the tail lights are done up very nice I have this one carded too, but I've never actually seen it out of the case. Let's go ahead and take a quick shot right underneath the little street post. Dude, Jesse, you really did an awesome job on this. I absolutely love it. This is going to be something I'm gonna cherish for as long as possible. This is some really good work, guys. Check that out. That is awesome, man. Oh, I can't wait to showcase some cars and some loose ones, but having an extra loose 63 concept, man, that is awesome, dude. Jesse, thank you so much. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, but I think he did a phenomenal job. Really, really knocked this one out of the ballpark. So 
We'll go ahead and move this out of the way, set it off right there. We're going to open up this one. I already seen the top casting right here. He had already shown me this and check this out guys. Look at this, the Bad Mudder 2 Super Treasure Hunt. And this color, we need the light on. There we go, look at that. You can really capture the color on this thing. So this is out of the Hot Wheels Hot Trucks. Um, and it looks like it was a 2015, 2016 release. That is wicked. I have never seen this casting before. God, man. Oh, that is just a cool freaking casting. Whatever happened to this? Oh my God. All right, so I had seen this one earlier. I didn't get a good look at it, but that is freaking awesome. And oh my God, look at this. Okay, hold up. We got right here for doing customs and one to open. Uh-oh. Look at this. Oh my God. My man threw in the King Kuda Super. Look at that. Oh man. God, that deco looks good. But man, got the gold flame. Of course, it's out of the Checkmate series blue tinted glass and look at those torque thrust style wheels guys that is freaking awesome so this is out of 2018's release looks like um l case oh man look at that two supers back to back but it doesn't end there look at that the 69 corvette racer super oh that spectra flame red is just Gorgeous. Do I, I don't, I think I have one. So this makes number two, I think. Look at that. Out of the Hot Wheels race day, the Gumball 3000, and it is a 2017, 2018 release. You guys gotta let me know which release year this was, but man, that is an awesome casting right there. And followed up by not one, but two. Super Corvettes. Look at that. The 2014 Stingray. I do not have this, guys. Look at that. Beautiful can in deco. You got the five spokes in orange in the back. Out of the Hot Wheels Speed Graphics. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that is awesome. I have the newer Corvette Super, so it is sweet to have this one because both of them are can in decoed. Look at that. Four supers, guys. Four. Four supers. Now, these right here are the ones I knew about. These were bonuses. Who throws in four bonus supers? Jeez. All right, so this one right here, I've been dying to get in the collection. And here we go, guys. The Porsche 993 GT2 Super. Look at that out of the Hot Wheels showroom in that beautiful Spectra Flame blue. Love in the black hood and orange stripe with the orange accented wheels. Oh, that is just gorgeous. Oh, man. And then next one up is the BMW Z4 Motorsport Super as well. Look at that. <laughs> oh, man. These look so good in person. Look at that, guys. Beautiful Spectra Flame Blue. I haven't seen these wheels put on Supers um, that often, I don't think. It's like a lace wheel BBS style rim. Look at that livery. Oh, that is nice. So this one came 2015, 2016 as well. Out of the BMW series. Check that out. And the last one. Here we go, guys. The Super 2017. Ford GT out of the Hot Wheels Exotics. Look at that Spectra Flame Blue. God, that is super clean. Oh man, so this was new for 2016. Check this out guys. So I knew only of these three supers. We worked out a deal and then he's like, cool, I have some extras, but wasn't expecting four extra supers. I don't even have four extra cases for these. I have one actually, maybe two at most, but look at this guys. Starting off with the heat, you have seven, seven 
supers right off the bat the bmw z4 the porsche 993 the ford gt the stingray the corvette racer the king cuda and the bad mudder this thing is just wicked and he told me that nobody really wanted this why wouldn't you want that look at how tough that is oh that is beautiful guys look at how we are starting the first episode of probably three or four episodes right off the back with seven supers oh my god so let's go ahead and see what is in the bag so for doing customs one to open Ooh, okay here we go let's see first one up Ooh, that is clean it's the lincoln yep lincoln continental 64 lincoln slammed in those gold lace wheels look at that gotta love a lowrider guys that is just a beautiful casting now i don't know if those lace wheels are supposed to be gold or silver maybe they're supposed to be gold to tie in with the gold base but man that looks that still looks good all right next one hey my buddy actually had this one at work look at that this is the 1500 no, the C3500 custom dually right here. Check out that teal. Got the chrome five dots. This is another casting I just absolutely think is cool and they should bring back as well. Look at that. Oh man, that is awesome. Hey, <laughs> the Farvenugan Volkswagen Golf. Look at that. This one has the lace wheels. If you guys remember, I found one and I think it had the five spokes. I didn't pick it up though, but there we go. You got the 89 casting license, but you got the red interior. Nice, that's gonna be a pretty good one. All right, let's see. Ooh, there we go. Is this an Impala? Yep, 63, I'm guessing. 64. Look at that blue, guys. Beautiful. Oh, man. Nicely done taillights. Definitely love this blue on blue. Man, that is just, lowriders are just awesome cars, guys. Next up, ooh, there we go, check this out. Is this a Nova 2? Um, 66 Nova, 60, yeah, 66, no, 65 Nova. It looks like a Chevy 2 body though, but look at that. Man, these can be some really cool restores. Or even if you leave the bodies like this, but put some really nice wheels, could make it like an average garage hot rod you know nice next up ooh, there we go check it out we have the Solaire with the fighter jet deco in yellow nice I actually have one of these carded here you go opening rear hatch you can see the canopy is a little frosted but this is actually in really good shape next up ooh, a 370 I only have one 370 and I think it's black. There we go. You got the red with the black interior and the OH5s. This could be a really good restore too. Put some nice wheels, new paint. All right, next up. Oh yeah, there we go. The Impala Lowrider. I actually had this exact casting when I was young. Check that out. Nice bluish purple with the orangish yellow tampos little lowrider graphics there but it is the 65 Impala and my friend's dad had a 66 Impala and that thing was nice next one oh yeah 63 split window right there check out that deco nice black metallic you got some like circuit board style tampos on there in gold gold base gold five spokes very interesting looking, but man, you guys know I love catching some Corvettes. Man. All right, next up. Ooh, there we go. Another slammed Lincoln. With the red interior chrome lace wheels. Man, that is nice. All right, so we'll put that one with the maroon. The last one right here. Ooh, look at that. These ones are well protected, so let's see what this is. Ooh, there we go. Oh my God. You can't see it, guys, but this is a beautiful pearl. Look at that. You can see a little bit of purplish blue. Look at that Camaro. 
You got the chrome three spokes all the way around. Oh man, is this a Z28 I'm guessing? Man, that looks good. That pearl, if you guys can only see it in person, that pearl is beautiful. And then last loose one, here we go. What do we got? Oh, 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 oh that is beautiful. The evil twin in gold metallic. Look at that. Oh man, that is nice. Got the gold lace wheels. Love this big body style. Check it out. They actually did the tail lights and license plate. God, I love this casting. It is just so wicked. Man, that looks good. So that is one box down, guys. Seven supers. Awesome loose castings right here. Now on to Big Bertha. All right guys, so I actually had to pause it last night. It was getting super late. Um, it's actually the next day. I cannot wait to see what is in here, guys. But if this is all loose castings, that is an insane amount of stuff in there. So we'll go ahead and move these out of the way. Go ahead and put that box over there. Look at that, fit perfect. And move this one out of here. It says open last. So we'll put that there. Oh, let's go ahead and see what we got in the box oh my god this thing is stacked let's go ahead and uh make some more room all right check this out first off the top we got this really clean three pack check out that skyline guys oh man Oh, that is nice. I have not seen this variation at all. I don't know if it's a three pack exclusive, but check that one out as well. It's a really nice satin blue. It does have the Hot Wheels race team flame before it signified a treasure hunt. And then of course you have, I think that's the fast feline. If I am mistaken, let me know in the comments. Is this an international case? It is, it's got the multi-language on the back nice so this is a this is an international three pack oh dude nice oh man i want to open it up just for that one. Oh man look at this oh look it says open first all right what is this oh buddy nice oh man so this makes number two in the collection check this out guys Oh, you know, I honestly don't remember if my other one had the black grill with the blue horse. Look at that. Oh man, I gotta check. Hold on. Look at that, guys. Actually has the blue electric horse and the grill. I do not think the other one I have has the black grill. Oh man, now I gotta really look for it. I think it's in this one maybe. Dang, I'm gonna have to find it. It's in one of these boxes. Number two in the collection. God, I love that livery. Oh my God. Oh, look at this. My man. Oh man, check these premiums. Look at this, guys. Oh my god, these are wicked. Check this out, guys. The Corvette Racer Premium. Oh man, look at that. Nice yellow on yellow. Definitely loving the livery on this one. You got the Hoosier, you got some Pins Oil Champion. Oh, that is nice. I don't know what set that came out of, but that's a sick one. But look at this RX3. Oh, it's got the Advan, the number three meatball. Just gotta clean it up a little bit. It's just a little dusty. But look at this metal flake purple, guys. That is nice. Love the black stripes running down the center, but those wheels, man, this is nice. What is this out of? I have never seen this variation before. Look at that. Oh man, back to back premiums looking good. Oh man, I'm seeing all kinds of eye candy. Look at this. Oh, you guys seen the super, which is right there. And look at that. Oh, that is nice. Oh, that is nice. Oh man. 
That is super nice. This one and the Super still look really good. Look at that guys, the 993 Mainline and Super. Look at that man. God, the 993s are just, the 993s are just awesome Porsches, man. I love the wing, the color setup on this one in particular. Oh yeah, that is nice. And check this out guys, the Dodge Challenger. Check out that brown metallic. Ooh, that is nice. Love the chrome Y5s on there. You got the black and yellow Hot Wheels flame. It's a different livery setup. I wonder if this is out of the Hot Wheels race team, but that is a nice livery on that. I'm definitely digging the colors on it. Man, that is nice. It's the 70, yep, 70 Challenger. Man, he's got some sweet castings. All right, next up, what do we got right here? I got my eyes on the RX-7 and a Beamer. Check that out. There we go, look at this. I have this one and I actually wheel swapped it for some six spoke premiums. And there we go, except my exhaust actually broke off, so I'm glad to have another one that's actually intact. Look at that. I think this is a very underrated casting. I remember when this came out, you saw these everywhere. And I think it was just a lot of people weren't into the aero discs, but a simple wheel swap will make that one look good. And check this out, guys. You got a super clean M Sport. Is it an M3? Yep, BMW M3. Love the blue. Look at that half roll cage in the back. And it's got the real rider aero discs on it. Check that out. This is a clean casting. Another one I have not seen. Rich always comes in. Look at this. <laughs> My man threw in another BMW M1. Oh my God. How many of these did you have? <laughs> Look at that. Oh yeah, that is awesome. Loving it. BMW M1. Nice. Next up, check this out guys. He is not stopping with the heat. Got some Ferraris, look at this. Look at these guys. Beautiful silver metallic. Oh my God, that flake is super heavy and it's fitted with some FTEs. Look at that guys. Oh, this is clean. This is the 458 Italia. Man, check it out, nice headlight tampos. This paint though, that has a lot of metal flake in it. Man, that looks good. And then check out this 599, guys. Look at that. Legendary Ferrari red. You got the black hash stripes and the Ferrari badge. And check out that casting error right there. Kind of stuck on the wheel. Yeah, it doesn't even roll, that's interesting. But overall, it's a super clean car. Nice. Look at this. Ooh, check this out. <laughs> look at that. Ooh, that is clean. Got the little dots in and look at that color. God, that pearlescent yellow is super clean. Got some nice detail. Of course, you do have the premium wheels. I love the stance of this truck. It is just slammed and lowered and check out the bed of the truck guys. You got some luggage, maybe a little roll up something in the back, but that is nice. Just the simple fact they put some detail on that. That is awesome. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh, that is clean. My dude hooking it up and there we go guys. We got the loose Homer Simpson. I don't even have to open up the one he sent. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. Such a classic car, absolutely love it. And that bubblegum metallic pink. Check it out, nice taillight details. Of course, the signature front fender. Oh yeah, that is cool. Definitely a cool one to have loose. Let's see, what else do we have in here? Um, Homer wheel variation from the first he sent. Oh, there's a wheel variation. What? So this is a five spoke, what's the other one? Lace wheels maybe? Oh man, I gotta look. Or maybe they're MC5s. Look at that, wheel variation Homer Simpson car. Check that out. I'm sure he was about to comment like, no, that's a wheel variation. Let's see, we got another bundle. 
Ooh, I feel some weighty things in here. Oh, look at that. Oh, nice. <laughs> that is clean. Oh man, that Nissan hard body is nice. Look at that, 93 Nissan D21 custom pickup. Look at that color, guys. Definitely digging that purple interior and the deco. Look at that, nice custom tubbing right there for the back. Ooh, that bad boy is slammed. Oh, that is super wicked. Oh man, look at that guys, that is super sick. All right, check this out. We got we got the Volkswagen IDR Premium. If you guys remember, I did pick up the hauler. I believe it has the black and blue version of this. And now we have the white one. Look at that guys. Real Rider Aero Discs all the way around. You got the number 94 and the R right there on the front. And beautiful colored Volkswagen little badge up top. Oh, that is nice. And here we go. Check this bad boy. Oh, that is wicked setup right there. That contrast of gold on this white enamel just look really nice. Man, look at that. Another wicked peanuts car right here, guys. Love the drag wing. Of course, you have two parachutes. And then it looks like a full emptied and gutted race interior. Check that out. God, look at that. God, guys. He just loads up with insane cars. All right, let's see. We got a mystery model series three. Let's see which cars came out of this one. Bluebird wagon, the bone shaker, the 65 ranchero. Nice. The Muscle Toned, you got the Midnight Auto, 52 Chevy, you got the 67 Chevelle, 41 Willys. Man, this thing is full of some heavy hitters. Let's go ahead and see which one we got. <laughs> there we go, the 67 Chevelle, and look at that deco. Oh, this satin blue is clean. You got Dawn Raider 396 with the black MC5s. You got the yellow interior. Look at that little Hawaiian deco themed right there. God, that is nice. Mystery model. So this is, this one actually doesn't have the number. Maybe the yellow number nine on the 396 signifies it. Let's see if it's right. So what is number nine? Yep, the 67 Chevelle. So they actually highlighted the number nine in the 396 name as which car it was in the series. Nice. So if you guys always want to know, the number of the mystery car is always incorporated somewhere on the car. That one was clever. I've never seen them do it in the actual name of the car of the 396. That is super clean. All right, next up, we got another mystery model. This one is... Um, I don't see the series, but it does have Corvette, Camaro, looks like the RX-7, the same one that we got last time. Has some awesome cars on here, guys. Let's see which one we got. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh, that is nice. 550 horsepower. That is a beast. Look at that silver metallic, that lime green and orange just really suits that. Oh man, that is nice. Black MC5s with the copper ring all the way around. This is number five out of the mystery model packs. It is wicked. Oh man, check out all these mystery models, guys. All right, so we have another one that has the gold mystery model packaging. Oh yeah. Look at this. Another beautiful mystery model Camaro, guys. Look at that pearlescent green. God, I love this green, guys. I love how they just have that subtle hint of yellow inside of that pearl. And check it out. The grill is actually separate casted from the body. That is nice. I didn't know they retooled that. 
There you go, chrome five spokes all the way around. You do have the Copo set up. Oh, cause it is, it's the 2013 Copo. Nice, the other Copos actually had the parachute. I only could tell because of the drag wheels in the front. Check it out, bigs and littles, definitely an awesome combination. Love that four inch cow hood on there. Man, that is nice. Oh. All right, next one is Series 2 Mystery Model. This one is the Viper, the NSX, and the Ford Fiesta. Ford GT. Got some awesome cars in this one, guys. Ooh, look at this Superbird. God, that is nice. Look at that brown, that metal flake brown. Got the number eight. Got the blue chrome five spokes. This is nice, man. So many variations of castings that are out there. You just cannot have them all. It is insane. Jeez, I know Superbird's probably eyeballing that like crazy. I was not expecting a Superbird to come out of that because I didn't see it in the picture art, but there we go. That picture doesn't justify it. All right, next one we have Series 3 mystery model. This one looks like another Hawaiian themed one. Yep. Same series the Chevelle came out of. So let's see what's in this one. See what other heat we got. Hey! <laughs> we got another 396. Check that out. Nice. Awesome. Next up, we have another one of the Series 1 cars. Let's see what's in this one. Oh, ho, ho. look at that. Oh, ho, ho. look at that. You got the passing gasser in this beautiful green metallic. Look at that black roll cage, gray interior with the black engine. Man, this setup is nice. Oh, I love that. Love the yellow flame on black. Just, oh, that is a beauty. And then we have another gold mystery model picture. Not even gonna spoil it. Let's go ahead and get straight to it. Check this out guys, look at this Chrysler 300. Look at that, love the graffiti art. It's actually a plastic body. It's like a silver plastic body, black interior, five spokes all the way around. Look at, there you go, clean. All right, let's see, we got two more mystery models. This one is series three. This one has the Datsun on there and the Mazda, Ooh, look at that, and a Gasser. You have, looks like a couple fantasy cars back there, but let's go ahead and see what's in this one. All right, let's see. <laughs> look at that. That is wild looking. It's the Mazda, what is it called? The Mazda Fury, Fury. Maybe it's Fury, Mazda Fury. I don't know, that doesn't seem right just the way the spelling is, but check that out. That is crazy. You got the red chrome Y5s up front, white in the back, and it is a satin gold finish and some crazy deco on there. Of course, you do have the number twos out of the mystery model and plastic wing. Look at that. That is very McLaren looking. But man, that is wicked. I have never seen this casting before. Here is the sticker. Um, and then this one right here is series three out of another Hawaiian style or beach theme. So let's go ahead and open this one. We got, ooh, yes, look at that. Oh, that is nice. The 52 Chevy. Look at this beauty. Oh man, a satin gold. I love this setup, guys. That is clean. Black PR5s with the blue ring. You got the little tsunami deco right there in black and blue. That is a nice truck. God, it feels so good in that satin finish. There you go, you got two satin gold cars. The satin finish cars look amazing. And then of course, there is the sticker. It looks more of a glossed enamel, but there we go. We have a whole bunch to go through, oh my God. 
This is nuts, guys. And then, ooh, there we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at the Gretty Nissan Laurel. Oh, we gotta take that out. And look at this, we got another 599XX Ferrari. Ooh, man, he sent this one carded last time. And there we go, guys, we have it loose. Look at how wicked that is. This one's probably my favorite color variation. The red one is nice, but that smoked metallic gray, you cannot beat that. Even though the red is nice, that setup just looks so good. Here we go, guys, the Nissan Laurel in the Gretty Deco. Check that out. Got the Laurel SGX, the Gretty stripes running down offset, and of course the number 71. Look at this. Man, that is clean. So if you guys remember, I actually won the gift set from Mark over at Dots and Man Diecast. And I believe he sent one of these within his Gretty custom set that he uh, raffled off. This thing is just clean. Check this out. We have the Datsun 510 and another mystery model NSX. Check this out. We got the 51. This is out of the gray carded series. Out of the 51 anniversary. Look at that 510. Then another Acura NSX mystery model. This is number three. Look at that. <laughs> oh man. We got dupes of some mystery models. And then I just saw right here, guys. Look at this. We have the Fast and the Furious Supra and another Plymouth Superbird. Look at this orange. Oh, that is a beauty. And you got the FTEs all the way around. Nice black striping work on the sides. You got a little nick right there, but still, guys, this is beautiful. Look at that. You actually do have a black roll cage in there. It's a full roll cage. That is nice. Oh, man, that is a beauty. All right, so let's go ahead and put the Super Birds together. Definitely like the brown metallic. And then, of course, the legendary and iconic Supra from Fast and the Furious. Check that out. Super dirty, but we can go ahead and clean that up. I know the heat extractor is off as far as casting goes But I'm pretty sure they just usually put tampos for those um, four vents that they usually have There we go another legendary car right there. Check this out guys We have another Olds Aurora and a Roger Dodger that I do not have Look at that you guys already know I have a bunch of Aurora's I think I have like three or four variations of this one. Got the black wing version, the gold lace wheels. Look at that, nice. And this, check this out guys. I actually have a good amount of Roger Dodgers, but I have not seen this. Love and the orange enamel with that camo. Look at that, Roger Dodger. We got the staggered chrome J5s all the way around. Nice blown motor. Got the same camo on the roof. This is a cool variation right here. Look at that. Oh my God. We still have this giant bag. Oh my God, there's a lot. All right, so next up, there we go. Check it out. We have another tuned Lamborghini Countach and a Drift Charger. Check this out. Look at that beauty. Oh, that is nice. This is, makes number two. I I think he sent a red one last time. So this makes it number two as far as the red Lamborghini Countach. Look at that, man, that thing is wild. And then another beautiful blue, look at that. This looks good. I think I have two variations of the Drift Charger, but I think this blue metallic's probably the best one in my opinion. Hot Wheels Highway Patrol. Look at that, that's a nice wing actually. I love the wingets on the edges. Nice. Next up, ooh, there we go. We got the Klausner Touring BMW. I actually have this one. Um, I picked it up at the Brass Armadillo back in Arizona and here we go, we got another one. Nice. Very, very bright neon yellow. You got the lime green and silver striping with the gold lace wheels. Look at that, it looks like the roof kind of sunk in just a little bit, but it's okay, I have two of these now. There we go. Then this, what is this little thing? <laughs> Look at that. 
What is this? This is the catapult. Look at that, guys. Now, thanks to you guys, I actually figured out what these wheels are. These are co-molded wheels, so it's a plastic rim with a plastic tire. So it kind of gives that real rider look without being rubber. Look at that. Oh, and it's a final run casting. Check that out. Out of 2004. Beautiful pearl white though. Man, that tribal deco looks crazy. So nice, a little final run casting right there. Next up, what do we got? Oh, ooh, look at that Porsche, man. It has to be a mystery model, guys. Look at that. Got the number nine meatball in, and then the black enamel. It's the Porsche 930. I don't have a 930, I don't think, in my collection, but check this out. That is a nice livery on this. Loving it. And then we got the Corvette right here in blue out of the Hot Wheels race team. So this makes number two. This is my first loose one. So there we go. That's a nice one. Got the number two right there. And it is the Corvette C7R. Beautiful. You guys already know Hot Wheels race team livery is always top one on my list. Next up, ooh, there we go. We got the Fox body and a Jaguar. Is that the XJ220? Look at that. That is super nice. I think I actually have this one carded. I believe I do. Just looks so familiar, but look at that. Pearl white with the Jaguar number 41. Yep, it's out of the Gran Turismo set. Look at that. Nice chrome PR5s all the way around. XJ220. At one time, this was the world's fastest car. Then here we go. We got the silver metallic 92 Fox body. I actually have this one carded, so it is awesome to have this one loose. Look at that. Man, that is a nice deco. Next up, oh my god, guys. So much heat in this box. It is unreal. Look at this. You got the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento in beautiful teal metallic. I believe he sent this one in my last one carded. God, that color is gorgeous. You got the gray trap fives all the way around, black striping down the center. Man, that is nice. Needs a little TLC, but it's still a beautiful casting. Then we have another 370Z in pearl white. This one is nice. Look at that, 370Z Tampos. You got the gold trap fives, signifying that those are FTEs. And you do have a little bit of a bronze or maybe a yellowish tinted glass. Look at that, that is nice. I like that one a little bit better than the red. All right, next up, what do we got? Oh, yes, there we go, guys. Check that out. You guys saw I just picked up the white version of this IROC Firebird, and look at this beauty. Oh, man, this red metallic is nice. Got the black PR5s, gold ring, gray interior, and check that out. It is a full race interior. You got the back seat delete, you got the single seat race car, you got the looks like maybe a fire extinguisher or maybe a nitrous bottle. Oh yeah, that is nice. That is in really good shape. Oh man, gotta love the F bodies and look at this beautiful purple, guys. Oh, oh, oh man, that is gorgeous. Look at that, man, the Chevy Nova. 66 Nova guys look at that purple Man, that is beautiful Absolutely love this this Nova man. Look at that Perfect stance perfect wheel choice the color setup is amazing Let's see next up. What do we got? I see some real riders. Ooh My man threw in a 2000 check this out Ooh, that is a nice premium. 
Got that yellow enamel with the green hood. Look at that. Toyota 2000, you got some NGK. Got the yellow reel riders to kind of tie it in there. Nice, this has like a little texture to it. That is interesting. You guys gotta let me know some more info on this. I'm pretty sure there's something behind this particular Toyota 2000. And then here we go, look at this. Oh man, I did not know they came out with a premium version of this Skyline. Look at this guys. Got the Advan and the Police Deco. And look at that, fitted with some real riders in this pearl white. Man, that is a nice looking skyline right there. Mmm. Let's see, next up. God, it's kind of hard to not like see something with your eyes and not just go straight to it, but I'm trying to really focus myself with this. All right, and then last one for this episode, guys, because we are running out of time. Check this out. We have the Porsche Panamera in a nice silver metallic. Is this the Turismo one or is it the regular? No, it's the Porsche Panamera. Look at that nice headlight detail, just some casting details and the lower license plate for 2015. And then last up right here, guys, look at this. You got the BRZ, nice. Oh no, this is the FRS. There we go, my bad, I forgot. The BRZ and FRS have slightly different front ends. You do have the Scion badging right there. Love the PR5s with the yellow ring. Oh yeah, that looks really nice. There we go. All right guys, so we gotta wrap this up. We are definitely running out of time and we have so much to go over guys. Look at how much stuff is still in there. Still in this bag, it looks like there's a Lamborghini right there. Oh yeah, looks like the Super Ligera. You guys have to bear with me. We're gonna wrap up episode one. So stay tuned for part two so we can get to the rest of all this goodness. But a quick recap guys, check out this awesome diorama that Jesse Garage sent. Awesome, with the 63 concept and then from Rich. We got the Porsche 993 GT2 Super, the 4 GT Super, Corvette, the BMW Z4. You got the Bad Mudder 2, the Corvette Racer, the King Cuda, and then of course the Mach-E, the International 3-pack, and these beautiful, beautiful loose castings, guys. You got mixtures of premiums with mystery models, regular main lines and just castings that are just oh my god these are wicked man but there we go just an awesome way to wrap up episode one and we have so much more to go over guys so just bear with me and of course hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did give it a huge thumbs up and comment down below you guys always bombard me with some awesome information on castings that i overlook sometimes so i definitely appreciate you so until next time this is the Mustang Hunter. Peace.